everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a tutorial on this look. So I've been, it's kind of the same that I always do, but little tweaks here and there. Um, Cause I think I did a tutorial like this years ago, but my hair was shorter. I did my bangs a little bit different and I found a new technique that I like a lot better. So I switched from using a one and one fourth inch curling iron to a one inch lately so that I could have even more waves. Now that my hair is longer, I love using the smaller curling iron because it creates the waves that I had whenever it was like shorter. I love that it's not like, it doesn't shrink up the hair like it did whenever I had short hair. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the stuff I used in my hair. I used my Amica Wizard that I always use as my heat spray. Love this stuff. Obviously I've been talking about it for years. I also use the Kevin Murphy Hair Resort Spray, which I talk about all the time as well. I know I'm super repetitive with some of the things that I use, but because I think they're such great products, I think I'm going to be using it for a long time until I find something better, if I do. Um, but I love Amika. I love Kevin Murphy products. They're cruelty-free. We aren't going to be carrying Amika um, much longer at the salon, though, because you can now obviously get it at Sephora, Urban Outfitters, and Viv likes to sell products that you can only get at salons. So... Um, soon, I don't know, probably in the next like couple weeks or something, um, we will be carrying a new line that's also cruelty free. Um, but until then we are um, using Amiga products and I, I will still use Amiga products. I'll just order it, but, um, our rep isn't going to be selling it anymore. So I'm going to have to find someone else that can get it to me at wholesale. Um, next I use my wet brush. I was looking for this like crazy earlier and I thought I left it in Austin. So happy I did, and I was gonna have to do it with my fingers. And this is awesome because it really cuts down the drying time. It creates a little bit more smoothness to the hair. Um, I love this brush; it's not going anywhere. And then I use a round brush. I love this size of round brush. Nothing bigger, nothing smaller. This is like perfect size. And this is what I use for my bangs, and also like up here for a little bit of volume. I curled my hair first on the bangs, and then um, blow blew it out because I didn't want it to be too straight. I didn't want it to be too curly. I wanted volume. I just wanted that like, you know, that oomph right here. I don't know what you call this, but it's like bang oomph. <laughs> I do usually use the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine Spray, but I just ran out of it. So I just use an old Moroccan oil um, for my bottoms. And I mean, I basically, there's like almost nothing left. So I would have probably used even more because I felt like, I feel like my ends look a little bit more dry today, but it's okay. Um, I also use the It's a 10 Silk Express Miracle Silk Smoothing Balm whenever I blow dried my hair. I mean, I, you'll see, I talk about this later on in the video with all the benefits that it has, but I've been using this for like a month now. I like it so far. Um, I'm not going to say it's my favorite, um, but I do like it and I haven't found another blow dry spray that isn't oily that I love, love, love. So, cause I do use the Amiga kind of like a thermal protectant, but it is more oily. And sometimes when I apply it to the hair and then I, you know, use, then I use a curling iron, I feel like you can kind of see the smoke sometimes and I don't want to do that. So um, I'm trying to find another heat spray that, or like a blow dry heat thermal protectant that is cruelty free and is awesome. So if you have recommendations and you know of any, comment below, that would be greatly appreciated. I use my Babyliss Blow Dryer. This is the Nano Titanium Babyliss Pro. Um, I need to seriously get the little nozzle here so that my hair could be even smoother. And then the Babyliss Pro Curling Iron, the one inch. This one is my baby. I love it. Um, and then two butterfly clips to clip the hair. If you have a lot of hair like me, then you're going to need to, you know, do sections. Um, you don't have to, but I like doing sections because then I get like every little piece of hair and I don't like it whenever I have like random straight pieces. So yeah, if you want to see this tutorial, keep on watching. Okay. So I just went a little crazy because I thought I lost one of my brushes. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. So my hair is towel dried right now. And I'm using my wet brush. I love this brush because it is great for giving yourself kind of like a blowout to create a more sleeker look. It's not going to be like a round brush. Um, but this does help the drying time. And I've used it in videos before. Y'all have seen it. So 
Um, yeah, this is a really great brush by Wet Brush, and it's called the Epic Professional Patent Pending. So I'm going to spray my Amika because y'all know I love Amika products. I'm also going to use this. It's a 10. Um, it is called Miracle Silk Smoothing Balm, and it's another heat protectant because I'm all about that, especially we just did like a light, very, very light balayage in my hair, and I have such dry hair, and it already feels so dry. I did a coconut oil treatment last night because it just felt so dry before I did this. So um, this cuts down the drying time. It has, um, it creates smoothness and shine, assists in style hold, weightless formula, it detangles, frizz resistance, build up free formula, prolongs blowout results, and it's a thermal protector. 10 things, that's quite why it's called Is It 10, so yeah. I'm gonna spray this all over the wizard. And my hair is towel dried right now. And I always get around here too because I apply the most heat around the front area. It never fails that I get some all over my face. So you're gonna place a dime to a quarter size of this, it's a 10. I'm gonna put it all over the bottoms and right here, just basically saturate it evenly throughout all of the hair. You want to make sure and get your hair 100% bone dry to avoid frizziness. So the bottom ends of my hair, about an inch away from the ends, I straighten them out because when I curl them, you're going to notice I don't curl the bottom piece and I want it to look a little bit more beachy and when I do this it gives it that more beachy effect. So I apologize that a part of this video is missing. I basically sectioned it into two big sections and I already did like a fourth of the hair. So you notice that I wrap it around the wand, I leave a little piece out but it's away from the face and also vertical and I'm just gonna do this all over I hold it for about eight to ten seconds it's pretty hot if you have fine hair you shouldn't have it on a high heat setting and you don't really need to hold it as long but these bangs I want them to be a little bit more voluminous I don't like how it doesn't look smooth so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round brush them so that there's more volume also add a little bit of this just very little Very pageanty. <laughs> All right, well, let me get my Kevin Murphy spray. Alrighty, I'm spraying this Kevin Murphy texture spray all over my hair. And on the second day, I like it even more because right now it's super fresh, so it looks kind of pageanty, but throughout the day it does loosen up. And then on the second day, I just pop in a little bit of extra curls. And I love the way it looks on second day. It's a little bit more textury, more beachy, but I'm loving this curling iron. Most likely be using it all holiday season. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Feel free to subscribe, to comment. And if you want to see more, leave some requests in the comment section. Thank you.